in my line of work, I've come across many individuals who are on the spectrum, the autism spectrum, as they call it. Now, to be honest, I think we, to an extent, all of us, are somewhat on the spectrum. It's called a spectrum because some people experience it more so than others. And now I've begun to change my mind on a lot of things. Scientific truth. Now, there needs to be an objective truth to guide us in life. But if we are talking purely about science, what we can observe, the data, then almost everything exists on a, on a spectrum. Nothing is as black and white as you and I may think. Even gender, something I've discussed in the past, it is a spectrum. Now, I'm not going to go in, into details because I've received backlashes in the past and I'm not going to make the same mistake again. But to put it simply, um, our gender... <laughs> The only reason why I'm a male is because I was exposed to testosterone in the womb. And yeah, depending on how much testosterone you were exposed to, that's going to determine whether you are male or female or something in between. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about autism. In my line of work, I've come across a lot of people who are on the spectrum. And these people are on the more severe side of the spectrum, if I may add. So, if you all know about autism, you will know that it's a condition that affects your ability to, I guess, socialize and interact with other people, maintaining healthy relationships, meaningful relationships, navigating society and life in general um, our world is complex and sometimes the neurodivergent brain is wired differently to how most people are accustomed to so these individuals who are on the spectrum at a young age already when put together with their peers they seem to be lagging behind in school um, in social events. Now, it's not really because they are stupid per se, or they are slow, although some people do have developmental issues, but for the vast majority, I think the most, most of the people that I've come across, they were the way that they were because our society is just different to these people how they think is different to how we think and sometimes when they put in a class full of these neurotypical people and class is de delivered a certain way their brain might not pick up on the cues um, the things that were taught and so they were left behind daydreaming thinking about the stuff that they <laughs> they care about so that's why they're behind, because they are tr daydreaming, they're thinking about all the stuff, they're focusing, hyper-fixating on the wrong things. Well, not the wrong things, but not, they're not fixating, they're not focusing on the relevant topic at hand. They tend to be going off into tangents. Now, I've thought about this, I've thought about my childhood, how... I grew up and how I felt a little bit off. Although I would say that I'm more so on the mild side of the spectrum. I mean, I have made friends. I have formed relationships in the past. I would consider myself to be high functioning. If, if I even have autism at all. I don't think I have autism. I think, or maybe a very mild case of autism. Even though I'm off, I can function, I can fit in somewhat, and I feel accepted to a certain degree. And I feel accepted. That's the main thing. I feel like 
I've got this. I've got life. Not really, but I know how to figure out life, how to navigate society, and yeah, how to get to places. I used to be very resentful of how I behave, how I act around people. How come I think a certain way, and how come there are things that I've seen, I've observed, I know is true, but I cannot say it because as soon as I open my mouth and talk about these things, I'll be seen as a negative person who only focuses on negative things. I mean, the world is a negative place. There are bad things. I can't say these things, man, because it's not socially acceptable. And this is a rule that I've learned based on my experiences. No one taught me this. No one taught me that I cannot point out certain things that are observed in people and things that I don't agree. I just cannot say it because it's not nice. It's not socially acceptable. So, yeah, I've learned that, and I used to be really resentful, and I used to think that because I'm special, the world needs to pander to my interest and. The world needs to work around me for me. That's not the case. I need to work around the world. The world is a certain way, and I need to conform to a certain degree. Just because I'm a little bit weird, I cannot expect people to understand me and serve me. Just because I stick out like a sore thumb, I cannot expect people to. Understand me and know that I think this way. I need to tell people that this is how I think, and I need to understand that this is the way the world works. It's not about me; it's about me fitting in. And there are certain things that I need to do in order to fit in. I can go on and on for hours, but I think you get the idea. Anyways. I hope you're doing well. Stay strong. God bless. I love you all, and I'll speak to you next time. Peace.